What's up, guys? Brett with New England Auto and Truck Recyclers. Today we're parting out a 2010 Dodge Car Grand Caravan. Not just a regular caravan, it's a Grand Caravan. Stock number M91392 with 95,000 miles on it. Uh, hood no good. Front all not good. Not good. Uh, left fender, I mean, you got a little bit of lip damage here that's pretty clear. Uh, and you see this scuff right here that is also now a dent. Um, so, a little bit of damage on here. Still looks all right, though. Let me squeeze through this tight, tight fit. Uh, non insurance quality left front door on this vehicle. Just uh, got some paint issue here. It's just some, some paint texture, I guess. I don't really know what's going on there. Left door mirror is, uh, unfortunately, no good. Not good. Left rear door, uh, some paint problem here. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. <clears throat> uh, just some paint blemishes on there that are just too hard to ignore. So, non insurance quality left rear door. Uh, quarter panel is no good. Got a good rear beam axle in here, however. I believe you got steel wheels. Steel wheels on this vehicle. Uh, what do we got here? 16 inch steel wheels. Great. Left tail lamp on here looks good. Uh, the lid gate on here, I mean, you got some paint blemish. You got just a whole bunch of small dents at the bottom. Um, but hey, definitely still usable uh, with the hinges and the spoiler. So that's cool. Rear bumper rebar on here is in good shape. Cover not so much. Uh, got a good quarter glass on each side, left and right. I know I didn't mention it, but left and right quarter glass are good. You got a decent dent here uh, down at the bottom of this uh, right rear door. Excuse me. Um, just a couple of, it looks like they got some paint, like maybe a paint marker on there on a couple of really small places. Um, right front door, you got a couple of small pings here throughout. Otherwise, it is in okay shape. Um, fender no good unfortunately left knee right knee complete control arm spindle and strut the right knee we're at the right side if I didn't mention before the left knee so the control arm spindle and strut <sighs> all right trim panels all in good shape looking real good as you can see rear glass fixed doesn't move but you do have a good master here up on this left driver's side door uh, for your windows locks mirrors the whole the whole deal manual leather seats in here in very good shape driver's side seat as you can see very good shape passenger seat bucket also again super good shape dash bag still intact over there you got a good glove box in this vehicle as well uh, second row bucket seats leather black in incredible shape go ahead 60 40 way in the back again black leather looking pristine thing looks great receiver non-existent have no idea but they took it got a good master here uh, for your heated AC and you have the rear control up here as well um, you do have rear entertainment in this bad boy. Got a good uh, rear heat control. DVD player. And a DVD player up in the roof. Got a good speedometer in here. Wheel bag intact on that steering wheel. And the steering column is in great shape. Uh, dash shift up in here. <clears throat> Move up because it is a manual seat. And I don't know how they got this thing set up. I feel like... Jeez. I don't know. Alright. Engine runs. The engine does run. Uh, again, 95k on it. Engine runs. Mm, whoa. And, I mean, honestly, that's what it sounds like when you rev it up. I don't want to say it sounds great when you rev it up. But, I mean, hey, it revs up. Sounds great. Sounds nice. As always, you know the drill. You got questions on this. Give a shout to sales. Those guys will be more than happy to give you the help you need.